news. Right now at nine, a mistrial declared in the Karen Reed murder case. We have live team coverage with a reaction on what's next in the case that has captivated the community for years. Thank you for staying with us tonight. I'm Courtney Cole. It's a story that has received national attention, and in the end, there was no verdict. It was a hung jury. Prosecutors vowing to retry the case. Tonight, our live team coverage kicks off with WBZ's Christina Rex, who has covered this trial from start to finish. And Christina, there's actually breaking news on this case tonight. Yeah, Courtney, we just received some breaking news. Massachusetts State Police Trooper Michael Proctor has been relieved of his duties. Now, he was the lead investigator in this case, and most notably in this trial, he testified to some lewd and offensive text messages he sent about Karen Reed over the course of dealing with this case and investigating it. Now, I want to explain exactly what this means. Relieved of his duties does not mean that he has been fired. He has not been terminated. Rather, right now, he is not actively working as a trooper, though he is technically still a trooper. He has been moved out of the the district attorney's office detective unit and he has an upcoming disciplinary hearing where there's a variety of options of results that can come from that. Now this news about Trooper Michael Proctor being relieved from his duties came with a statement that says in part from the colonel, our focus remains on delivering the highest level of police services with professionalism and integrity. This statement coming to us just hours after a mistrial. Your service is complete. I'm declaring a mistrial in this case. That statement from the judge bringing strong emotion from the mother of John O'Keefe. The O'Keefe family, as well as the Reeds, will have to sit through another trial. After the 12 person jury of six men and six women was unable to reach a unanimous decision in this one. The deep division is not due to a lack of effort or diligence, but rather a sincere adherence to our individual principles and moral convictions. To continue to deliberate would be futile and only serve to force us to compromise these deeply held beliefs. The Norfolk County District Attorney's Office releasing this statement immediately after, saying we thank the O'Keefe family for their commitment and dedication to this long process. They maintained sight of the true core of this case to find justice for John O'Keefe, saying the Commonwealth intends to retry this case. The Commonwealth did their worst. Guess what? They failed. They failed miserably and they'll continue to fail. 10 weeks and 74 witnesses and no closure for those involved. Karen Reed and her lawyers hugged her family before they exited court just briefly addressing reporters outside. I want to send a message to all of her supporters out there. Your support was invaluable. Touched and we ask for your continued support. I'm not from Texas like my colleague here. Uh, I'm, I'm a Boston kid, but I'll repeat what he said, which is we ain't got no quit. And no comments after that mistrial was declared from Karen Reed herself or from the O'Keefe family who have remained really private throughout this entire process. Now, what happens next? Likely another trial. The Norfolk County DA's office pledged to try this case again. There's a status hearing coming up on July 22nd. Live in Dedham, Christina Rex, WBZ News.